Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. Welcome to my channel, Gentle Yoga and Wellness. Today, I have a gentle yoga class for you. Throughout this class, I'll be showing different levels of modification. So you'll want to listen to your body, make sure to respect your body and do what's feeling right for you today. If you're enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your support. Okay, let's get started. You can either sit cross-legged, just like I'm sitting right now, or if this position is not feeling good in your body, you're welcome to sit in hero's pose. I'll show you what that looks like. For hero's pose, you can come up onto your knees and you're just sitting on your legs with your knees facing forward. If you have a yoga block or a folded up towel or blanket, you can place that right underneath your sit bones. So that will elevate your sit bones and it'll take a little bit of pressure off of your legs. Okay, so let's come into a comfortable seated position either in hero's pose or sitting cross-legged. And we'll start with our warm-up. Once you're situated, start to lift your chest and gently roll your shoulders back. Think about sitting up tall and lengthening through your spine. You wanna take both of your hands behind your head. So just take your fingertips behind your head. Start to open up through your elbows. On your next inhale, begin to lift your chest and take your gaze slightly up. As you exhale, round your back and bring your elbows together. Inhale, open through the elbows, lift your chest. Exhale, round your back and bring the elbows together. Continue this movement flowing with your breath. So take a deep breath in. And then exhale, let it go. Good, deep breath in, open through the chest. Exhale and slowly release. Do that a couple more times, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good, really start to bring your focus to your breath. Notice how your breath feels in your body today. Nice job. You can just relax your arms down to the sides of your body. We'll do a few shoulder shrugs here. So start to take your shoulders up, back, and down. And then do that again. Take your shoulders up, back, and down. Let's just continue that movement. Relaxing and releasing the shoulders. Good. We'll do that one more time. Take the shoulders up, back, and down. From here, begin to take your right hand down to your mat. Reach overhead with your left arm and come into a side body stretch. So in the stretch, you'll feel a nice lengthening through the side of your body. And you can take it into just a little bit of a stretch or you can really reach through with your left arm just notice what feels good in your body today. Good, find your breath, breathe into the stretch. Let's take one more inhale, and then as you exhale, relax both of your arms down. Begin to take your arms behind your head again. So take your fingertips to the back of your head, open up through the elbows, open up through the chest, take a deep breath in and take your gaze slightly up. As you exhale, begin to round through the back and bring the elbows together. Let's do that again. Inhale, open through the chest, look up. Exhale, round through the back, bring your gaze inward. Continue this flow with your breath. Good, really start to focus on your breathing. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, inhale, lift through the chest. 
exhale round through the back. Do that two more times. Deep breath in. Exhale and release. One more time. Think about taking in light and love. Exhale, just let something go. Maybe tension or tightness, whatever you're holding today. Nice job. You can relax your arms down to the sides of your body and we'll come into some shoulder shrugs. So start to take those shoulders up, back, and down. And then do that again. Take your shoulders up, back, and down. And just continue this movement here. So think about relaxing and releasing the shoulders. Good, we'll do that two more times. Take the shoulders up, back, and down and then once more just release and relax the shoulders great job we'll take our left hand down to the side of our body and then start to reach overhead with your right arm come into that side body stretch so again you'll feel that stretch right along the side of your body it can be just a little stretch or you can really reach through with your right arm and take it deeper that feels good in your body today. Good. Let's take one more inhale. And as you exhale, just relax both of your arms down. Start to come to tabletop position. So begin to thread your legs behind you and come up onto your hands and onto your knees. Take a moment here to make sure that your knees are stacked under your hips. And then make sure that your wrists are stacked under your shoulders. Spread your fingertips out wide and begin to take your gaze in front of you. We'll do a few cat cows here as we start to warm up through the spine today. So on your next inhale, begin to lift your chest and take your gaze slightly up. As you exhale, round through your back. Inhale, lift the chest and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, hollow out your belly and round through your back. Inhale and rise, come to cow pose. Exhale, round the back for cat pose. Good, inhale, lift through the chest, take the gaze slightly up. Exhale, round through the back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale and rise. Exhale and slowly release. Nice job. You can return to your tabletop position. From here, we're going to work on a little bit of abdominal strength. So for this next yoga move, we're gonna curl our toes underneath behind us. So make sure your toes are curled underneath. And then we're gonna to start to lift our knees off of the mat. We're going to stay in this tabletop position, but we're just gonna lift our knees a little bit off of the mat. Think about engaging your lower abdominals to lift your legs. Okay, so once you're ready, start to engage your core and then just lift the knees off the mat. Keep your gaze looking down to the earth. Let's just hold this here for a moment. Really think about engaging your lower abdominals. So you're squeezing in with the core. Good, let's take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, lower both of your knees down to the mat. Nice job. You can uncurl your toes and gently start to sway your knees from side to side. Just take a moment to release from that abdominal and core engagement that we just did. Good. Just sway your hips and gently move your shoulders. Gently move your head and start to move in a way that feels good to your body today. Once you feel complete, you can pause here in your tabletop position. We'll start by bending our right knee. So you want to go ahead and bend your right knee and then lift 
your leg off of the mat, just like I'm doing right now. Good, so this is level one. You're welcome to stay right here with your knee bent and your leg lifted off the mat. If you'd like to add a little bit of challenge here, you can use your left arm to reach back and grab your right ankle. So it looks like this. You're reaching back with your opposite arm and you can start to take your gaze over your left shoulder. A little bit of balance here. Good, once you're ready, release. Bring your hand and your knee back down to the mat. And then we'll come to the opposite side. So this time, start to bend your left knee. Lift your left leg off the mat. Again, you can stay right here. This is level one. Level two would be to take your right hand and reach back and grab your left ankle and take your gaze over your right shoulder. Good, once you're ready, release your hand and your knee back down to the mat. And we'll come to child's pose. Begin to take your knees wide out to the sides of your mat Reach your fingertips to the top of the mat and relax your forehead down to the earth. If your forehead is not coming all the way down to the mat, and always use a block and place your block on the lowest setting, right underneath your forehead. You can also use a towel or blanket underneath your forehead for a little bit of support. Good, once you're ready, slowly begin to rise. Come back to tabletop position. If you're using a block or towel, you can just place that off to the side. From here, we're gonna lower ourselves down onto our stomach. So you wanna start by just coming down to your forearms and extend your legs long behind you and then push the tops of your feet into the mat. Just relax your upper body down. And then start to interlace your hands behind your back. We're coming into locust pose. Squeeze your legs together. So squeeze your calves and your thighs. Start by lifting your upper body. So you wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together to lift your upper body. Option to lift the lower body as well. If you're lifting the lower body, you want to squeeze through your glutes to lift the lower body. Just hold here for a moment and breathe. Good, take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, you can release. Stack your forearms on top of each other and then relax your forehead down on top of your arms. Good. You can slowly begin to rise, push yourself back up, and come to a seated position. Face the long end of your mat. You want to extend your legs long out in front of you. Come to staff pose. So for staff pose, your legs are extended, you're sitting up tall, and then you'll want to flex through your feet. From staff pose, start to cross your right leg over your left leg. So you're bending your right knee and crossing your right leg over your left leg. Good. Go ahead and take your left arm and hug in your right knee. So you're hugging your right knee into your chest. Sit up tall 
and then slowly begin to rotate and take your gaze over to the right. We're coming into half Lord of the Fishes pose. Just find your breath here, breathe into the stretch. Good, let's take one more inhale. As you exhale, you can slowly rotate to face center, release your arm from your leg and extend your legs out long. Return to staff pose. From staff pose, we'll bend our knees deeply. So kind of bend your knees, reach both of your hands forward and then grab down to the soles of your feet. Once you have a hold of the soles of your feet, one at a time, start to slowly straighten your legs. So notice we're coming into a seated forward fold. In this pose, you may not straighten your legs completely. You might have a bend in your knees and that's perfectly fine. You just wanna to start to straighten your legs a little bit until you feel a gentle stretch in your hamstrings and a little bit through your low back. You should not feel any pain or discomfort, just a gentle stretch. All right, once you're in position and you feel a gentle stretch, start to relax your gaze down to the earth. So you wanna just relax your head and neck and look down. Start to slowly rise, bend your knees, and release your hands from your feet. We'll return once again to staff pose. So extend your legs, sit up tall, flex through your feet. And then once you're ready, begin to bend your left knee this time. Cross your left leg over your right leg. From here, use your right arm to hug your left knee into your chest. We're coming into half Lord of the Fishes pose, now on the opposite side. So begin to sit up tall, and then start to rotate from your waist. Take your gaze over to the left. One more inhale, and then as you exhale, slowly unwind and return to center. And release your arm from your leg and then extend both legs out long one more time. From here, you can gently bend one knee at a time and just shake out your legs. Nice job. We'll begin to take the soles of our feet together and allow our knees to fall wide out to the side for butterfly pose or Baddha Konasana. In this pose, if you're feeling tight in your inner thighs and hips, you can always scoot your feet out a little bit further away from your body so that you're making more of a diamond shape with your legs. That's one way to lessen the intensity of the stretch. Another option, if your knees are coming up here and you're just feeling a little bit tight today, you can always grab some yoga blocks or folded up blankets or towels, and then just set them under your legs for a little bit of support. So find a position that's comfortable for your legs. Once you're in position, start to sit up tall. You're welcome to stay right here or for a little bit deeper stretch. If it feels good into your body, you can hinge forward from your waist. And then once you feel a nice gentle stretch, just relax your gaze down. So just look down to the earth.
it. You can slowly begin to rise. Use your arms to bring your legs back towards midline. If you're using yoga blocks or blankets or towels, go ahead and place those off to the side. Begin to rotate and swing your legs around. Good. Once you're in this position, reach your arms in front of you. So reach both of your arms in front of you and sit up tall. Use your abdominals to slowly lower yourself down onto your mat. So we're just gonna lower ourselves down to a lying position. Just go nice, nice and slow and use your abdominals. Good, once you're lying on your mat, keep your knees bent and bring your feet close to your hips. From here, we're gonna do a little bit of abdominal engagement. So it looks like this. We'll start by lifting our right leg off of the mat and bend your knee. Good. Once your right leg is in the air, just like mine is right now, you'll lift your left leg to meet it. Good. Once both of your feet are in the air, start to lower your right foot back down to the mat. Then lower your left foot to meet your right. So let's continue this pattern just like that. Start to lift your right foot off the mat and then lift your left foot. Lower your right foot and then lower your left foot. Good, you got it. So let's continue this movement. Lifting one foot at a time and then lowering one foot at a time. And as you lift your feet, you'll notice that your lower abdominals are engaging to lift your legs. So this is a really good exercise to engage the lower abdominals. And the lower abdominals help us a lot with our balance and with our posture. So it's a good muscle to work. Good. You're doing great. Let's do that one more time. So lift your right leg off of the mat and then the left leg, then lower the right leg and then the left leg. Perfect. From here, begin to hug both of your knees into your chest. Slowly start to rock your legs from side to side. So we're just giving ourselves a little bit of a back massage here and you can move from side to side. You can move in a circular pattern or you can even make a figure eight with your legs. Just notice what is feeling good in your body today. Once you feel complete, just pause here. Release your hands from your legs and take the soles of your feet down to your mat. Keep your knees bent. We'll come to bridge pose. So for bridge pose, place the palms of your hands down to your mat, close to your hips. Begin to lift your hips off of the mat by squeezing your glutes. Keep your gaze up to the ceiling. So you don't want to look around. You want to make sure that your gaze is looking up to the sky. That'll help to protect your neck. You're welcome to stay right here or for a little bit deeper back bend. You can interlace your hands underneath you. One at a time, start to rock your shoulders underneath your body. Actively lift your hips by engaging your glutes. Gently squeeze your inner thighs together. Let's take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, release your hands, slowly lower your hips back down to the mat. We'll come into happy baby pose. For happy baby pose, lift your feet so that the soles of your feet are coming up to the sky. Bend your knees very deeply. 
take your hands and grab on either to the outside of your calves, the outside of your ankles, or the inside soles of your feet. So find a position with your hands that's comfortable for your body, either on your calves, your ankles, or the soles of your feet. Once your hands are in position, you want to gently pull your legs a little bit closer to your chest. From here, you have the option to add a little rock from side to side. Okay, just allow yourself to relax and release into this pose. You should feel a nice opening in your inner thighs and in your hips. Once you feel complete, you can pause here, find stillness, begin to release your hands from your feet. Extend your legs out long, point your toes. Good, so your legs are straight now, you're reaching through your toes, and then take both of your arms overhead. So straighten your arms and reach your arms overhead so that your body is fully extended this is called stick pose. You wanna think about reaching through your fingers, reaching through your toes, and extending and lengthening through your entire body. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, relax your arms to the sides of your body. Relax your legs. Slowly begin to rock onto one side. You can use your hand to push yourself up and come to a seated position. Begin to take your hands to prayer center. Thank you so much for doing this gentle yoga practice with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope to see you soon. Namaste.